Hey guys, it's TV DVD Mega Clips, and today I'm going to be doing a, a Blu-ray collection video where I'm going to show every single Blu-ray in my collection. Um, yeah, it's expanded quite a lot since uh, my last video. I think I did it last uh, November, so it's been more than a year. And yeah, I thought I'd just like pretty much uh, show it again, and you guys can obviously see the contrast between then and now. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to start off, they're still pretty much arranged in alphabetical order as opposed to my uh, DVDs which are arranged in genre because I can't be asked to do them alphabetically. But yeah, um, so I'm going to start off with this side, obviously. So yeah, uh, basically I'm going to go through them and any comments or anything like uh, suggestions on Blu-rays to get, uh, just leave them down below. Uh, if you've got any comments on any films that you want me to review then just uh, let me know also and yeah enjoy enjoy the um, video. So yeah the first one is 310 to Yuma, a uh, fantastic uh, western Modern Western film starring Russell Crowe and Christian Bale. Uh, Twelve Years a Slave. This is a fantastic drama. Uh, very true to life um, and very emotional um, about the slave trade and the living conditions of a slave. Eighteen, pretty generic uh, action film to be honest. I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, Disney's Alice in Wonderland, the new uh, one with Johnny Depp. American Werewolf in London, uh, one of my favourite horror films of all time, and this is the Steelbook edition. The Avengers, very overrated um, Marvel film. Uh, I've kind of gone off the Avengers a bit, to be honest. Um, Batman Begins, one of the greatest origin stories of any superhero ever told. Um, ever adapted to screen. A uh, fantastic portrayal by everybody in, who acted in this film. <clears throat> um, Beauty and the Beast. Bedtime Stories. Uh, Lucio Fulci's The Beyond. Uh, this is the second out of the Gates of Hell trilogy. I personally didn't really like it as much as the other two. Uh, Blood Diamond. This is actually a very, very good um, DiCaprio film. Um, yeah, it's a pretty epic film. Paul Thomas Anderson's Boogie Nights. Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson's fast becoming one of my favourite uh, directors of all time. Uh, Boogie Nights, very good film. Braveheart, still haven't got around to watching it yet. Um, so yeah, that might come as a surprise to anybody watching, but... I haven't yet seen Braveheart, so... Uh, Caligula, very raunchy and um, sexy film. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that, actually, because it's quite a um, strong film. Uh, but yeah, great film with Malcolm McDowell. Uh, Candyman, which I haven't seen yet also. Cannibal Holocaust, just a brutal, brutal... Um, video Nasty release, uh, released by Shameless. Cape Fear with, with Robert De Niro, a fantastic film. Still need to get around to watching the original. Captain America The Winter Soldier, uh, it was okay. Captain Phillips, a very, very emotional, um, gripping film starring Tom Hanks. Uh, Carlito's Way, haven't yet seen it. Casino by directed by Martin Scorsese, a fantastic uh, film based on true events. Uh, Chinatown. This kind of bored me. I'm not gonna lie. I did sit through the full film and didn't really feel like fulfilled after it. City of the Living Dead, by far my favorite out of the Gates of Hell trilogy. A Clockwork Orange, very controversial, but 
gripping film. Um, I watched this film so many times over the last uh, few months. I just think it's an absolutely fantastic film and I definitely recommend this and the book. I'd probably recommend the book more than the film, but um, yeah, still a fantastic film. The Condemned, a uh, brilliant action film with Stone Cold and Vinnie Jones. Uh, the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, The Day of the Earth Stood Still, uh, Deadly Blessing, uh, this actually, uh, the case is actually broken on this, I bought it from CEX, um, which they're always careless with their items in there, so, uh, The Deer Hunter, absolutely amazing film, Deliverance, this is actually a very underrated film from the 70s. Uh, kind of reminds me of Deer Hunter actually, so it's a coincidence that they're so alphabetically, um, I guess, related. Uh, the Departed, uh, not one of Martin Scorsese's best films in my opinion, but it's still a pretty good watch. Uh, District 9, Django Unchained, by far one of um, Tarantino's best films. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The thing I actually did with Ferris Bueller's Day Off is I actually bought the DVD and put the DVD in with the Blu-ray. Um, uh, First Blood, First Blood 2 and Rambo 3, absolutely fantastic films. have not yet seen the new Rambo from 2008 but I will have to get around to picking it up. Uh, Frightness Steelbook. Uh, the Fog, Great Gatsby, fantastic Leonardo DiCaprio film, uh, Gangs of New York, another fantastic Leonardo DiCaprio film, however I think Daniel Day-Lewis's performance in this um, is far too overwhelming to say that <laughs> Leonardo does a better job, but I think Daniel Day-Lewis owns every single acting aspect of this film. Uh, Gangster Squad, Goodfellas, by far my favourite film of all time. The Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Grown Ups, The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, Heat, uh, last in the Fulci Trilogy, um, House by the Cemetery, How the West Was Won, a very long and... Um, yet yeah, endurable film. I thought it was pretty good. I, I'm i probably going to have to uh, give it another watch because I did enjoy it but I might have been tired at the time or something. Um, the Incredible Hulk Steelbook. Uh, the Inbetweeners movie. Inception. Inglorious Bastards, I didn't really enjoy this film. Um, I thought I was going to, but... Um, Intolerable Cruelty. Iron Man 2, don't ask why I don't own the other two. And Iron Man 2, because I don't really like Iron Man 2 anymore. I did at one point like it, but... Um, I'm not a really big fan of the Iron Man films anymore. IP Man. IP Man 2. The Jungle Book. Killer Inside Me, I've said it before and I will say it again, a very underrated uh, Casey Affleck film. And I would definitely check it out. Land of the Dead. Last, Last of the Mohicans. Uh, definitely one I need to check out because Daniel Day-Lewis is by far my favourite actor of all time. And, yeah, I just... The only thing that's putting me off watching this film is I'm not a big fan of Michael Mann. And... Yeah, I'm going to have to probably watch this sometime soon. The Lego Movie. Les Miserables. Little Fockers. Lock Up. A pretty good 80s action film starring Stallone. Monsters, Inc. Monsters University. New York, New York. Night of Living Dead is New York, New York by... Um, is it by Martin Scorsese? 
No, I don't believe it. Yes, it is by Martin Scorsese. I didn't even know that. Um, because there's another film that I want uh, called The King of Comedy with Robert De Niro in, and I actually thought The King of Comedy was the only PG film with um the collaboration between Scorsese and Robert De Niro. But obviously not. Uh, Night of Living Dead, by far my favourite Hitchcock film thus far. Uh, North by Northwest. If you haven't seen this film or heard about it, definitely look it up and um, watch it because it is fantastic. Uh, one I need to get around to watching Once Upon a Time in America because it is it has Robert De Niro in and he's amazing. One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, Peter Pan. Phenomena, um, absolutely love Jennifer Connelly as an actress, and I think Phenomena is one of her uh, better films. And yeah, I don't, I don't actually know how old she was playing this role. I think seventeen or something, but definitely a great Jennifer Connelly film. The Railway Man, Ratatouille, Rear Window, probably my second best Alfred Hitchcock film of all time. Uh, so simplistic yet effective, and that's what I love about it. Uh, probably my favourite Tom Cruise film of all time. It's Risky Business, and it is a fantastic film. Really good feel-good um, sort of 80s teen flick, and I definitely recommend that one. Scarface, another one of my favourite films of all time. Schindler's List. Scream 4. Sherlock Holmes. A Game of Shadows Steelbook. Sleepers, this too, is a very underrated film starring Kevin Bacon, Robert De Niro, Dustin Hoffman. Uh, even Brad Pitt's in this film. I'm pretty sure Brad Pitt's one of the main characters, actually. Um, Lego Star Wars, The Padwell Menace. Super. Superman Returns. Taxi Driver, fantastic. Robert De Niro film. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy Steelbook. There Will Be Blood. This is probably um, in my top three films of all time. Probably down to that, anyway. Um, it's just a great Paul Thomas Anderson directed this so um, well, and I just think it's a great, great screen adaptation. I've not yet read the book, but I have seen the uh, older film of this and Definitely fantastic acting by Robert De Niro. Uh, uh, Daniel Day Lewis also. Sorry. Uh, Titanic. Tombstone. Well, the Toy Story trilogy. Uh, don't really need to pull them out. Unforgiven. Unknown. The Untouchables. I enjoyed this film. I think Robert De Niro. Um, did a great sort of appearance as um, Al Capone, and it was also nice to see Sean Connery um, have a pretty big role in this as well, and yeah, The Untouchable is a pretty good film. Uh, v for Vendetta, Vertigo, another fantastic Alfred Hitchcock film, um, obviously Vert Vertigo, Rear Window. North by Northwest, Psycho are the main ones, but they're the main ones for a reason because they're so brilliantly directed, as are all of his films. But they've also got a fantastic story and compelling characters, and that's pretty much what makes a film. Wreck It Ralph, a film I've recently watched twice in the last two days, and that's a lot saying it's a um, three hour film. The Wolf of Wall Street, I thought this was absolutely amazing. Uh, not one of my favourite films of all time, but it's still a pretty damn good film. Probably going to have to read the book also. Uh, the, the Wolfman, fantastic film. Uh, Benicio Del Toro. Uh, Hugo Weaving actually plays a brilliant film, playing kind of like the Van Helsing kind of character. World's End, didn't think too much of it. Uh, Wolverine. The X-Men... Trilogy, which I really did not like, I 
despised all of them. I actually thought X-Men The Last Stand was the best out of all of them, which probably isn't saying too much as it's hated by everybody, but yeah, I thought that was the more fun film. Um, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now I just have a few box sets, so the Alien Anthology box set, containing obviously all four films. The Die Hard Quadrilogy, containing all four films. The Harry Potter Years 1-6 to six box set, containing obviously the first six entries of the series. Then also I have the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 on 3D Blu-ray, which actually came with my Blu-ray player. Uh, this, which I actually got a while back, um, Spider-Man Trilogy, um, Sam Raimi. Uh, the Lady and the Tramp double pack. And finally, uh, Rocky box set, which is absolutely fantastic. So there, that was my um, entire Blu-ray collection. I also do have Blu-ray discs everywhere. I've got one Blu-ray disc on there, which is pretty much a Halloween box set containing all films, but they did the feature where, well, they did an edition where they only had the first one on Blu-ray. Uh, I have my Lord of the Rings, uh, extended edition, the complete extended edition box set where all of the films are on Blu-ray. And also I have Forrest Gump on Blu-ray in that terrific box set up there. And I have the German or Dutch Rambo Digibook, Digibook on Blu-ray also. So yeah, that was my entire Blu-ray collection. I'll probably make a entire DVD collection in January, because that's when I did my last one, last January, uh, well this January, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that was my Blu-ray collection. I pretty much only get Blu-rays that I really like on Blu-ray. Uh, so I pretty much get all of my favourite films on Blu-ray and ones that I'm unsure about on DVD. Uh, but basically I made this video um, to kind of show you how my collection has expanded since that time and this is probably going to be a yearly thing I'm probably going to keep this up every year 